three times a day, seven days a week for the rest of your life. You need to eat. Ours is a country that's famous for fast food joints and TV dinners. We have a wide variety of restaurants like McDonald's, KFC, Wendy's, Burger King, Taco Bell, and Domino's. We're known to upsize everything when we order. Large fries, large soda, supersize them all. We're gonna marinara sauce this mother. But there are people who want more from their food experience. These people are called gourmets, gastronomes, or more commonly, foodies. These are the kinds of people who have an affinity for fine foods, fine dining, and fine restaurants. It's very good. So if it's fine dining you're looking for and money is no object, then here are the top 10 most luxurious restaurants around the world. Miso Guigawa in Kyoto, Japan. Some people may not know what and where Kyoto is. It's a city in Japan, located in the lower middle part of the main island. Kyoto is an important city in Japan because before Tokyo in 1868, it was the country's capital city for more than a thousand years. Kyoto is the cultural epicenter of Japan. It is also famously known for its cuisine, especially the kaiseki spread. It's a method of serving food in one big tray, where you will see small servings of food designed artistically, and which will explode with flavors in your mouth. I thought this was gonna be like a bowl of ice cream. But Miso Guigawa's specialty is taking the Japanese style of cooking and serving, kaiseki, and fusing it with the French style of flavors and spices and other methods of food preparations. One will not only savor the unique French kaiseki, they will also savor the rich and tranquil ambiance a sort of historic aura in the environment that the restaurant elevates. A trailblazer in food fusion, French kaiseki miso guigawa is an establishment that gives you a taste and an atmosphere of Japan with a sprinkle of France. Not many restaurants can pull off this kind of experience, and if one happens to be French-Japanese, this is the perfect restaurant for them. Liking this video so far? Click that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad. Sublimotion in Ibiza, Spain. Ibiza is one of the many islands in the Balearic Archipelago of Spain on the Mediterranean Sea. This place is famous for a lot of things, beaches for one. With beautiful white sands and pristine waters, they are a treat. Another thing that Ibiza is famous for is the nightlife. From wild to borderline crazy, partying or clubbing here starts usually as the sun sets and ends at dawn. But as the young and restless party the night away, and as the lazier ones tan their bodies at the beach, there are a group of tourists who visit Ibiza for one thing. It's the Sublimotion Restaurant. Two Michelin star chef Paco Ronquero, of Spain of course, is the creator of this technologically advanced restaurant. Sublimotion is the product of two years of hard work and development by Ronquero and all the other designers, writers, illusionists, and architects who helped him, making it the first gastronomic show in the world. The dining room is a space of 70 meters squared and 7 meters high. The tables, which can serve up to 12 guests, are not just a place to eat, but contain the most advanced advanced tech and gastronomic innovation. A dining experience that targets not just the taste buds but all five senses is one that should be on everyone's bucket list. Plaza Atene in Paris, France. Many chefs dream of having their own restaurant, and earning even a single Michelin star is a lofty goal. But chef Alain Ducasse is right there at the top of them all. Just below legendary chef Joël Robuchon, who has a record-breaking, world-setting, and kind of unfathomable 31 stars notched on his proverbial belt, whereas Alain Ducasse has 21 Michelin stars. At second out of all the thousands of chefs around the world, no one comes close to Alain Ducasse, except for the third chef, the former protege of Chef Joël Robuchon, Gordon Ramsay. The secret behind that is to get that done literally 10 minutes before you cook it. But Gordon is well behind with only 16 stars. Ducasse has restaurants all over the world, too. He has 30 of them, and most are in France, the United Kingdom, and the United States. He also has some in Monaco, Qatar, China, and Japan. One of his best is located in the Hotel Plaza Atine in Paris. There, one will be served 
contemporary haute cuisine called the naturalness cuisine inside a restaurant designed by Patrick Join and Sanjeev Manku. A dining area that seems like a gallery or a piece of art in and of itself, Alain Ducasse au Plaza Athéné is a sight to behold with a cuisine comparable to the gods' nectars. It comes with a steep price per head of at least $500 for a full meal. Masa in New York, USA. Yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna oh. see how quickly I can make oh, a hot dog, ready? One thing about the city of New York is that you can't beat the affordability, the accessibility, and the taste of its street food. Hot dogs and cold drinks. The iconic New York hot dog, the pretzels, and the falafels are just a sampling of the many options and varieties in the streets and corners of the busy city. I'm gonna make one plate. And I'm gonna make you make the second plate. How about right, that? that works sounds for me. good? Yeah. As pedestrian as it sounds and looks, literally, to a New Yorker foodie, all is not lost for these people. It turns out that there are many Michelin starred restaurants right there in the city that never sleeps. If you're a foodie and just moved to New York City, the sky's the limit because there are great restaurants here for you. One great example is Masa. Masa is a restaurant that's proud of its Japanese and American fusion, delivered expertly by chef Masayoshi Takahama. There are 26 courses on offer for the discerning foodie, but not for cheap. For at least $400, one can experience the wonder that is Masa. Dress comfortably because this dining experience is longer than the extended director's cut version of Titanic. And like Jack and Rose, we will fall in love with Masa and its world-class cuisine. Flying. Maison Pic in Valence, France. It's everything I'm gonna eat French. Chef Anne-Sophie Pick is one of only a handful of women chefs in the world that runs their kitchen under the insignia of three Michelin stars. Other notable Michelin star women chefs are Claire Smith, the first woman in the United Kingdom to get them, Nadia Santini, the first Italian female chef to get three Michelin stars, and then there's Carme Ruscalera, the legendary Catalan chef who has seven Michelin stars. The power of women is held high and proud by these mighty chefs, and chef Anne-Sophie Pick is a pioneering force in French restauranturing today. To date, chef Anne-Sophie Pick already has five Michelin stars. The two latest Michelin stars stars were awarded to her and her Switzerland restaurant in Lucerne called Restaurant Anne Sophie Pic in 2009. But the Maison Pic in the upper southeast region of France is her baby. In fact, it's her family's baby. It was opened in 1889 by Anne-Sophie Pick's great-grandparents, then was passed down to her grandfather, André Pick, and then to her father, Jacques Pick. A dinner in Maison Pic may cost $445 per head, but it's worth every penny. Restaurant de l'Hôtel de Ville in Crissier, Switzerland. Oh, that's like a little saw blade. Every time we think of Switzerland, three things come to mind. The cheese, the chocolate, and the knife. But to a bona fide foodie, Crissier is one of their top three. Crissier is a small town, only a little over two square miles, in the district of West Lausannois and the canton of Vaud. With a population of under 10,000, it seems to be a quiet little town with a calm, steady atmosphere. It's a good thing that in this town, there's a three Michelin star restaurant where people can pass the time. Head chef Benoit Violier was named chef of the year by Switzerland in 2013, less than a year after he opened the restaurant in Crissier. The best restaurant in all of Switzerland and one of the best in the whole world, Restaurant de l'Hôtel de Ville will make the diner a little less than $400 poorer. This will give the customer the full and unbridled dining experience of 11 courses and a wide selection of wines. You know, my mom she says I can never have one until I'm 21. Unfortunately, Chef Benoit Violier passed in 2016 from an apparent suicide in January, a month after his restaurant was honored the title Best Restaurant in the World by the French government. <laughs> Kicho in Kyoto, Japan. No, no, no. <laughs> Arashiyama is a district located in the outskirts of western Kyoto. It's also the location of one of the best restaurants in the world. Kicho's founder is Teichi Yuki, who started the restaurant a little less than a century ago in Osaka. From delicate ingredients such as blue crab and barracuda sushi, one can experience superb dining only Kicho can provide for around $400. Wow. Kicho and Arashiyama is now headed by Teichi Yuki's grandson, Kunio Tokuoka. 
Kicho is actually a chain of restaurants with six locations in Kyoto alone. But it's this one in Arashiyama that is undoubtedly the best. If one is splurging and does not care about the cost, they should go ahead and order the chef's omakase course. The omakase is a personalized dining experience where the chef picks out ingredients, fresh and only the best, and prepares and cooks them in front of you. Boom! It's kind of exploded in my mouth! Lunch starts at 11.30 a.m. and dinner starts at 5 p.m. And they're closed on Wednesdays. If a vacation or a business trip takes you to Japan and near Kyoto, do not forget this schedule and the town's name, Arashiyama. Very interesting. Itha Undersea Restaurant in Conrad Rangali Island, Maldives. Restaurants always have some gimmick to add to their fabulous food. Just do a search using Sublimotion Spain or Ultraviolet China and get your mind blown by how psychedelic those restaurants really are. But this next restaurant is all natural. No effects in this place. Everything you see around you is real. Imagine a see-through submarine, a big tube submerged and suspended in water, admit schools of fish and all marine life swimming about in the Indian Ocean. Then convert it into one of the best fine dining restaurants in the world. Is this real life? How many people can say they dined not just underwater with the fish, but dined in one of the most popular and most luxurious restaurants in the world? So exclusive and so discreet, the restaurant only serves 14 customers at a time. The Itha Undersea Restaurant is the first undersea restaurant in the world, and it was opened in 2005. They serve four-course lunches and six-course dinners. These are usually European dishes, and sure enough, they serve the freshest seafood, because they're all right there. If you ever take a vacation in the sunny Maldives, don't forget to have a nice dinner here in Itha. Life under the sea is better than anything they got up there. Restaurant Gordon Ramsay in London, UK. Is this still over? No, it's not over. Okay. Look, oh, come on. Yes, this restaurant is named after a famous reality cooking show host and judge. Hi, my name's Gordon Ramsay. Yes, he is a real chef and one of the best. No, he is not just pretending to be a chef. He is Gordon Ramsay, and he has the best restaurants spread all over the world. He also has at least seven active TV shows, including MasterChef, Hell's Kitchen, and Gordon Ramsay's Ultimate Cookery course. No waste, just the route. Past shows rack up to at least 12, including Hotel Hell and The F Word. But if we're going to visit just one restaurant of his, it would be the one in London. He has technically 36 establishments all over the United Kingdom, the United States, Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. These are restaurants, bars, pubs, hotel restaurants, and three Michelin star fine dining restaurants. There are 14 of his establishments all over London, and the one we want to talk about is the restaurant along Royal Hospital Road. With three Michelin stars and the braggadocio of having been named after the man himself, restaurant Gordon Ramsay is arguably the finest restaurant out of all of them. Whether Gordon Ramsay has more TV shows or restaurants, we don't really care, because one thing is for sure, they're all very good. Let's go! Per se in New York, USA. New York! After an almost $400 tasting menu, a true eating marathon, one realizes that they've just spent the best five hours of eating experience they've ever had in their lives. With a structure with tables offering a nice view of Central Park and Columbus Circle, this restaurant requires you to bring around four Benjamins to enjoy a tasting menu of nine courses. Savor the ambiance and the intimacy as they serve you one course after another, each one a little better than the last. First of all, that is delicious. Awesome. Per Se is an establishment where reservations are hard to come by. Per Se is owned by Thomas Keller, the three Michelin star chef and restaurateur who also happens to own three other fine joints, namely the French Laundry, Bouchon, and Ad Hoc. Thomas Keller lives up to the accolade of being awarded the best chef in America. Located in Manhattan at West 60th Street and Broadway on the fourth floor of the Time Warner Center Twin Tower Building, Per Se is elegance and fine dining at its best in the heart of the Big Apple. Thomas Keller did well in placing one of his restaurants in a prime position there at Columbus Circle. Not bad, not bad. If these prices sound a little steep to you, don't worry, it's always free to enjoy our content. So hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell, then stay right here and click on one of our other great videos.